virtually new 2015 R-Pod just came in on trade here at Halitz. Folks were happy with the camping experience. They just wanted some more space, so they swapped this out for a 2109S Rockwood uh, Mini Light here at Halo. It's just a little bit bigger couples camper. They had the tow capacity to do it. This is only 2,600 and what, 10 or 15 pounds. Super, super lightweight. Great little couples camper. If you're gonna do some jet setting around, it's something that's gonna tow very nicely for you um, for a couple reasons. It just one, the weight, it's it's very light. It's not gonna kill a vehicle. Very easily SUV towable, uh, minivan towable even. Um, secondly, being narrow body, it's not going to stick out wider than your vehicle, so you're not gonna have to deal with near as many of those big, pushy headwinds. Secondly, this is a one-piece front-to-back fiberglass roof sweep, so it has a great aerodynamic teardrop-style profile here. Um, the uh, little like sewer hose caddy on the front is a nice thing because you have limited outside storage in a smaller trailer. I mean, any camper, the smaller it gets, the harder it becomes to find storage for it. And, I mean, we're an R-Pod dealer, so I mean, I'm, I'm very familiar with how these are put together. We carry two or three different teardrop style trailers, so, you know, we're, we're very familiar with what, what these are and what they're not. You know, laminated floor, laminated sidewalls, very lightweight construction. Actually, the flat part of the roof is also laminated. Uh, they just have a, a, a bend on the fiberglass in the front with a, uh, uh, you know, the, the cage construction under the skin to keep its structure up. Uh, same size water heater as a common travel trailer. We've got a six gallon vessel here so that you've got pretty good water service on a campsite. Now this is another thing I really like is that they have four corner scissor jacks, not single leg stab jacks. That's gonna keep the RV more stable on your campsite. That baggage door you saw on the other side is magnetically latched so that you can uh, uh, you know, just more easily operate the thing with one hand. We've got great looking aluminum wheel package here. Um, outside shower station, cable and satellite separate hookups. Those are nice little features. Now, the spare tire back here, it's not mounted on a bumper. This actually has a little one inch class two receiver on it. So that could be a spare tire holder or you could stow the spare tire somewhere else hook a bike rack up to the back, do whatever you want. We have all LED tail lights for longevity and uh, you know uh, convenience. Um, I like that little fin up top. My What I've been told is that kind of acts like a spoiler. I doubt that it actually makes that much of a difference, but it is cool. Now, if you, if you look up here, you're gonna see where there's like a C channel run. This one actually has the, uh, there's a bag inside the R dome, which is a, uh, an enclosed awning and screen room that slots up in there. C channel's in place, then you put your legs down and you know, take depending on how good you're at uh, are at it 20 to 30 minutes to set up but if you're gonna be somewhere for a couple days it's nice to have out there um, bigger entry handle so it's easier come and go we've got a little solar plug uh, on the back here that is for battery trickle charging that is not gonna run your air conditioner and your refrigerator mind you that's just to keep some lights and some fans on if you're you know parked off the beaten path um, the uh, black tank flusher is right over here because this is your bathrooms located right here on this one And this is a friction hinge door so that this door is not going to be inclined to bash into that uh, uh, Wheel well right there stepping forward This is uh, one of my favorite models that they make actually. This is a rear kitchen model uh, We uh, we've had this in our pod. Um, I believe Winnebago's working on a version of it right now We've got it coming in from Jayco in the hummingbird. So Again, we're, we're, we're pretty deep in this market. This is not an accident that we just occasionally get one of these in. We do a lot of these. So the rear kitchen here, it gives you more countertop and cabinet space than most teardrops could ever dream of having. You've actually got nice ball bearing drawers. We've got power outlets down here below the countertop. And I like the little different driftwood wood tones, just something to set it apart but they give it a nice light dark contrast with everything else so it doesn't feel real dark and cramped in here. It also helps that they've got a great LED lighting package in this to really brighten it up too. Remember this top section's all laminated. Um, the uh, refrigerator here, it does have a freezer pocket built into it, so you've got a little popsicle station right there. And this is a convection microwave oven. So, uh, you know, being a smaller trailer, they had to be really smart with their size, and they didn't want to put a standard oven in here and kill half your storage, so they used the convection. This is the longest slide out in the R-Pod lineup, and it encompasses both this big U-Dinette as well as uh, these appliances right here. So that's why this is uh, one of the bigger ones, but still it's barely 2,600 pounds. Now this can fold down into a sleeper if that, if you, um, 
fold down that elliptical table. The table's freestanding, so you can pull this out of here and just have a nice open lounge and an outside picnic table. Um, the, uh, what else? Was, there's storage under, I think, that one, and that one is used for something else, water tank or something like that. I'm not sure. I can't remember offhand. Um, overhead storage within the slide-out, you notice it's all strutted so that it's just easier to access and get to. And very comfortable interior heights in these. By the, that's something I was afraid when I first started seeing these little things. I'm like, I'm going to feel claustrophobic in this thing, and I never have. This pantry right here is awesome. This is the best pantry I've ever seen in a little teardrop camper. And notice the nice hidden hinge cabinet so that when everything's closed, it says a super clean look about it. Um, right here, you can activate your, uh, you know, your water heater, your water pump. This is kind of cool in that your, uh, your bathroom light switch you can have accessible from out here. And you can flick the fan on uh, from uh, out here as well. So if you wake up at night and you want to get some heat exhausted, that's why this is open. You can flick that fan on, it'll suck the heat out. And the shower curtain, by the way, does fully encompass this so that you do have privacy during bathing. They even give you a nice little shower caddy back here so that your, you know, shampoo and conditioners are not, yeah, you don't have a lot of shelf space in here, so you need to do that. Although, looking at this, I, I don't imagine that they use the bathroom in this a whole heck of a lot. A lot of people don't in these smaller campers. They'll just put up a hanging rod and use this like extra storage. Um, speaking of more storage... We've got this big closet over here, so you've actually got hanging storage and more extent, full extension drawers down here. Um, now, uh, the uh, previous owners left all the original electronics in here. We've got an AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, stereo. We've got some outside speaker action, nice little TV on a swing arm, so this can face uh, you in the bedroom or the living room wherever you want it. That's cool, too. We've got cross breeze windows for the bedroom, pleated nightshades for privacy. Um, you know, uh, a tall person like me, since this is six and a half wide, unless you're super duper duper tall, you're going to sleep on this just fine. And they even leave a nice uh, interior pocket down here, like if you have some extra totes or something. And that's also where your propane furnace is located on the left side. That pretty much sums this one up in a heartbeat. Um, you know, call, uh, learn more. We've got uh, a pretty, I mean, if you're looking for... A nice new teardrop camper, but you don't want to pay a new teardrop camper price tag. <laughs> I got one for you, but uh, these are super popular. Uh, this is among the best sellers under 20 feet. So if you do like it, check the posting date on this. There's a good chance it's going to be gone fast. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We do hitching, pieces, parts, financing, towing vehicles, package deals, delivery. We'll park it right in your driveway. Simple, quick, and easy. All we need is a phone call and the opportunity. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.